back, Cronius here. Today I'm flying from Powell, Wyoming to Bozeman, Montana, which is also the Yellowstone International Airport. I'll be flying a Beechcraft King Air 350i. I've set a flight level of 8,000. Let's reset the view, go inside, and go ahead and get started. Go ahead and lift off. Let's climb it around, I guess, 10 degrees for a bit. Try to gain some speed. Don't use the flaps anymore to take off, so I don't have to do anything with those. Landing gear up. Pedo heat on. Salt Lake Center KA-479er is type Beechcraft King Air 2 miles northwest of Kilo Papa Oscar Yankee 5,200 feet. Request flight following. KA-479er Salt Lake Center. Clock 4, 617. All right, just making a little correction to our heading. Get back on the current course. KA-479er radar contact 3 miles northwest of Kilo Papa Oscar Yankee 5,600 feet. And I'm practicing with the rudders, trying to get used to rudder steering. It's something I hadn't been doing before, and I realized I was supposed to be. And it feels like a little bit of rudder goes a long way, so it's just taking some practice. Okay, we're continuing to climb towards 8,000. I'm going to go ahead and engage autopilot, let it take care of that, yaw damper, it will further correct the heading for me. Let's go ahead and go outside. It is a beautiful afternoon in Wyoming. Now I don't know if I have to climb over those mountains or not, so I'll do the appropriate thing once we get there, almost at our altitude. Autopilot will start leveling off. I'm going to pull back just a tad on the throttle. Just see where the airspeed lands. Really like the shots with the sun. Looks really nice out. Kind of wish I was actually here. It's funny they left the number off on that livery. I reused the livery from the last flight, so it looks a little bit like the Japanese flag on the sun. It should look like that. Not really sure what's required to go in and fix a livery. I imagine that it wouldn't be that hard. Go back inside for a minute. Okay, I think we can go faster, so I'll bring the engines up. It also does look like we need more altitude, so I'm going to set us to 11,000. There we go. 
be nice to get the sun in that shot, but then you can't really see anything. Yeah, from here it's just hard to tell. I, we might be over the mountains already. Might be okay. Go outside and look again. But there's no, no harm in gaining some altitude. I love that irrigation circle, it looks like an LP record. Okay, I have a feeling we'll be okay, but I'm not sure. There's that horizon line in the Garmin. Maybe I should climb more. I'll try 13,000. My hunches were okay, but I'd rather be safe, obviously. I haven't really ever been to this part of the world. I have been to Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Not really sure where that is in relation to where we are. Yeah, it kind of looks like we needed the extra altitude. The mountains are climbing set 15,000 just for safety's sake. Mountains are beautiful. I'm going to reset the view a little bit there and look at them some more. Not sure how much of it is AI, how much of it is photogrammetry, but it sure looks awfully nice. Not so much to see over on the right, a big valley, maybe an ancient lake bed or something.
don't know if we'll be able to see anything of Yellowstone or not. This is the International Yellowstone Airport. When setting up the flight, I didn't see anything in the world view indicating thermal ponds and, you know, that kind of stuff. So perhaps it's not there. I'm curious what the Garmin shows for the horizon line. Do we still need to climb? I think we still need to climb. Alright, I'm going to go to 18,000. I'm not sure what the upper limit is on this craft. I think it might be 23. I feel like the Garmin is telling me that I need to be above this line. That's my feeling, but I don't know if that's true. That's kind of a nice view. So just want to look around at the landscape a little bit more. Okay, that's not the way to go to do it. Still getting used to the reversed direction or orientation of the joystick. Oh, that's pretty. Seem to be getting a lot of bumpy air, that's okay. We can deal with that. Let's see what the Garmin indicates. Yeah, I still don't really know how to read that. I don't think we really need to go any higher. But I'll monitor the situation. Mountains look beautiful enough as it is from this angle. I don't really feel inclined to use the drone, maybe if there was some civilization to go close up on. I do kind of like this livery. I feel like the kind of low-hanging fruit, easy-to-get liveries are cheesy looking. I really like to find a reliable source of nice livers. When I look online, I only find things that are months old. I don't know. And then I guess all kinds of controversies about liveries, consolidators, and whatnot. So I've stayed away from that a little bit. Turbulence is really interesting, I think. Adds a sense of realism. I feel like maybe I should begin declining in altitude. I'm going to be landing very quickly, much faster than I think. So let's try 15,000. And... to 
descent rate of 800. Pull back at the throttle to make it a little easier to descend. Yeah, I kind of feel like the descent rate ought to be a little higher. Maybe if I drop throttle some more. Salt Lake Center, KA-479, oh, yeah, 17,600 feet. KA-479, Salt Lake Center, continue and land. Whoa! That's some real turbulence. Not used to that. Okay, let's go up to this overview position. It's kind of nice. Like that. It's a little hard to tell from that angle if we're going to clear the mountains or not. I can go outside to check. I think we're okay. I, I will need to come down further than 15,000. Maybe 1350. 13,500. I think we have ground radar showing on the HUD. No, on the Garmin. Nope. So just, uh, I'll just pay attention to my descent. I think I might even just pull back more on the throttle. And meanwhile, keep looking around at this beautiful area. kind of makes me wonder if in the future we needed space for more people, could you develop an area that's this rugged and this far away from things? I suppose it's possible. At some point we might have to if we run out of space. It's still difficult for me to tell if my angle of attack here is good for the runway. I don't think I'm getting too close to these mountains, but I'll have to watch it as I go by. hit our latest target altitude. I'll keep it this way for a while. I'm hoping we pass over these mountains and then it's just a flat area. Seems like we're pretty far up high enough away from them. I'm gonna hit B, check the barometer. It changes altitude just a little bit.
just seems to add a lot of realism to look out the windows. Yeah, the mountains seem kind of frighteningly close, but I think we're okay. Let me just look outside again. Maybe I can angle the camera view and point more to the horizon or something. Yeah, I think we can come down some more. I'm going to set it to 11. I guess that would be turning it down to 11. Nice to fly over this for real. See the real thing. Okay, I think we're past the thickest bit of the mountains. Still need to come quite a bit down in altitude, so I'm going to set a new target of 9,000 and see where that gets us. Okay, I feel like we're on a good approach. We're slowing down a bit. We'll clear these mountains. I'll set a new target of maybe 7,000. Going to contact the tower. Tower K-A-4 
Niner is 21 miles southeast, 8,400 feet with Charlie to land. Okay, so we're good with the tower. Uh, don't want to go any lower in altitude until we get past this little patch of mountains, but then I'll need to drop. I'm going to reset the view and take it off of autopilot. Nose down a little bit so we can see where we're going. Ah, there's the pattern, okay. Okay, we need to slow down quite a bit more. I'm going to go ahead and put the approach flaps down now. Push hard on the stick to keep from nosing up too much. getting to a better speed. We'll probably be slow enough once we get there. I can dip up a little bit. So I think it's the airport that's at 6417, so I'm okay to be at the 8,000 foot level. In fact, I probably need to be a little higher, so let's go ahead and go a bit higher. Hoffman Tower, Sky West Tree, 6067 miles southeast, inbound on our runway, tree zero approach. Sky West Tree, 606 Buzzman Tower. Altimeter 29 decimal 77, wind calm, cleared our net runway, tree zero approach. This all seems straightforward from here. I am still going too fast. I'm going to pull back on the throttle. See if I can get some speed down. Okay, I've got the throttle now down to about 25%. We are slowly slowing down, making our way into the pattern. Gonna de-throttle just a bit more. Yeah, let's put the landing gear down, that'll help us give us some drag. So we're descending, so it's going to that's, that's going to tend to keep our speed up. I think maybe I'll just drop the throttle all the way down to idle. Let's see if I can drop down to mid 120s. I 
can always put the landing flaps down if I need to, but here we go. This is working. I can also nose up a bit. That will help. I'm a little on the low side. See the other aircraft. Yeah, a bit too fast, that's all right. Just nose up a little bit. to learn how to use ILS. That'll help you keep a good descent angle. And if I nose down too much to see the runway, I'm going to speed up, so I'm going to try to just follow the brackets for now. I'm going to go ahead and put the landing flaps down, bring the throttle up to 50% until I see where our speed lands. Nose down hard to keep from nosing up too much. Okay, we don't need 50% throttle, I think. I'll drop it down maybe 35%. Okay, I'm going to drop throttle down to idle. I think that's a little premature, actually. Okay, maybe now's the time. I think we're close enough. K479, go around. Go around? Uh, but I'm on a perfect landing approach. I guess there's probably an airplane there. I'm going to disobey and go ahead and do a landing. Let the wheels down gently. Front wheel down gently. Brake. There's a turn there. I missed that turn. K479, you were not cleared to land. Clear the runway. I'm getting in trouble for landing, but. There's nothing here. K-479, you are not cleared to land. Clear the runway. I feel a little bit like a scoff law, but it's just a video game. I'm not going to care about it. Alright, parking brake on, and let's see if I can figure out where to taxi to. Bozeman Ground, KA 479er, taxi to parking. KA 479er, taxi to general aviation parking using taxiway out the Palm Out Cross Runway 21 Bravo Delta. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking using Taxiway Alpha Bravo Cross Runway 21 Bravo Delta KA 479er. Alright. I feel a little bad about disobeying the go-around, but 
there was nothing there, and I was on a perfect landing approach, and landings are something I'm struggling with, and I wanted to have a nice gentle landing, which I did. So, as a real pilot, of course you'd get in trouble for something like that, but it's just a game. I'm just playing around. Going a little fast on the taxiway here. Yeah, so even though I got reprimanded, they do have parking for me, that's nice. Uh, there's some things in the way, but I suppose I can get by them. Not sure why they always have stuff in the way. There are some plugins for more realistic ground handling. I suppose I ought to consider that at some point. Now that I have my pedals adjusted nicely with like minus 90% sensitivity or whatever, it, they feel very comfortable. Very handy being able to steer and whatnot. off. Go look around a little bit outside. Beautiful mountain ranges in the background. All right, there go the engines. Okay, and the question is, can I turn it off and have the game end properly? That hasn't been working properly lately. Let's try this. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.